Good morning. What's poppin'? It's me, Diddy Love. Hey, I know it's been a minute, y'all. I've been working and stuff. I be tired, but let's get into it. Today, I was at work and I was listening to a live. And I was cringing while I was listening to this live because I want to just say this. Some of y'all consistently surround yourselves with disrespectful motherfuckers and then be upset when you get disrespected. But then, depending on who's doing the disrespect, y'all don't even see that shit. What I saw today made my stomach turn. First of all, y'all talking about ain't nobody getting no protection. This person ain't getting no protection. They jumping me. They fighting me. I'm concerned. I'm concerned because I see what's going on in the state of black America uh, with the children. And then I know why when I see motherfuckers who have no conflict resolution skills, who look for conflict consistently over bullshit. I mean, at a certain point, you got to ask yourself, why do I love living in turmoil? Why do I want to argue, yell and scream every day, all motherfucking day? What is wrong with me? That is the question. What is wrong with me? Some of y'all really need to start asking yourselves, what's wrong with me? Because something's wrong. That shit's not normal. I'm telling you. I was like, these are grown. I look, this is why I don't fuck with people either. Y'all know I cuss a bitch out quick. But see, some of y'all have people sitting in your face telling you they love you, but they don't have no fucking respect for you or your platforms. Period. Point blank. Nobody should be coming to your platform telling you, well, I'm just fucked up and that's just what it is. No, 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 no. You just be fucked up on your platform. Don't come over here just being fucked up to my people. And then what happens is the content creators get sucked into that shit because they all, they remember, they all team-based. A lot of people that are not solo acts around here. Team-based. So when you team-based, you got to go in the direction of the group. And you don't even realize that shit. But I'm seeing a lot of grown-ass followers, and it's a fucking pattern. It's just who they are as people. Because you keep surrounding yourself with disrespectful motherfuckers. So you must enjoy the disrespect. I just got to say that. You got to love it. You got to love it. Because it keep happening. Then you sit back like you don't see what's going on. And then one day it's like a fucking, you get hit in the head with a rock. And you're like, oh my God, they've been disrespecting me. Yeah, we all saw it. We all see it. You ain't know. It's happened to you a hundred motherfucking times. You don't see it yourself. I'm confused. See, that's what I'm saying. Some of y'all niggas is deaf, dumb, and blind. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm concerned because we too old for that shit. I'm in the 50 age group and you motherfuckers is arguing and cat fighting like y'all in the third grade. I didn't do it then. I damn sure ain't going to do it now. But have a fucking purpose. There's no purpose for a lot of this shit. It's just all about disrespect, catty bullshit. Some of this shit, I was like, are these niggas pretending? Are they pretending? I see, I see the lady on here talking about she was paying another grown ass lady cell phone bill, right? And then something about, this is what made me think these motherfuckers is full of shit too. They faking, like they all got to be in cahoots together. So the lady was like, yeah, my sister, the lady sister T, she said her sister tried to call her and her phone was off. And that's because Queen Regina went to the, uh, called a phone company and did some shit to her account. I don't know where the fuck y'all got phones at, but I know on my shit, you ain't making no transactions without a password. Hello? Or double verification. A text to your phone to put in the code. You ain't doing shit. It's who the account is linked to. So when I heard that bullshit today, I was like, they lying. Are these, these people got to be working together because that's a lie. Nobody went to the cell phone. Ain't nobody went to no cell phone place and did shit to your account. They haven't done that. They've been locked that shit down years ago. Okay. Because back in the day, like y'all be talking about doxing and all that bullshit. Me and my peoples, please. One of my peoples was relentless. She would have your motherfucking lights, telephone, water, all that shit shut off. Hello? So no, there are codes in place. You can't do that. Ain't nobody going to uh, tampering with your account and cutting off other people's phones. And the other question is, why would a grown woman be paying another grown woman phone bill? Like, make that shit make sense. How you got people on your account? Huh? 
What are you talking about? There's no dignity. There's no pride. There's no self-respect. As a grown-ass motherfucker, you should have your own cell phone. I wouldn't give a shit if I had to get a, a boost card every month. That's what I would do before I ask some other bitch to put me on her plan and pay for me. The fuck is wrong with y'all? That's what I'm saying. It's a lot of childish shit. That's why I start watching a lot of this shit because it's 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 low grade. It's, it's not even low vibrational. It's fucking low grade. It's like it's like sixty year olds in first grade. It is what it is. If it don't apply, if it doesn't apply, let it motherfucking apply, right? If it don't apply, let it fly. Dead ass. But a lot of this should apply to you, motherfuckers. I hope y'all hear me. I ain't saying it to be fucked up. I'm coming from a loving place. I'm telling y'all the goddamn truth. The shit is sick. Like, are y'all disconnected from the worlds around you? Because from where I sit, in every city throughout the United States, there are children wilding the fuck out, killing grown-ass people, doing all kind of bullshit for nothing. So for you to get online for hours every day and argue about nothing is alarming. Considering what's going on in the real world right now. Like, it's Babylon out this motherfucker. You better know it. We need to be prayed up. We need to be focused on some real shit. Y'all talking about protection online. Excuse me? Protection online? You ain't protecting nobody for my argument. You motherfuckers, we need protection out here in real life. Shit is going down. Shit is real out here. Y'all are confused. A lot of y'all are confused. Shit is real out here. And y'all are too fucking comfortable too. Get jobs and keep them. You can't because you want to argue and be fucking dysfunctional all day. And this is a comfortable place to do that shit. I don't give a fuck if you feel like, oh, she preaching. Not at all. I'm kicking motherfucking facts because I'm sitting on the outside looking at this shit. And you niggas are grown. Adult ass people. Need to make better choices. Like I said, they're talking about, I ain't protecting nobody online and I ain't protecting, and you protecting this person. Do y'all read the stats? Are y'all seeing what's going on out here in the streets and in the real world? We all need motherfucking protection, but it ain't from verbal abuse that you sign up for online. A lot of this shit are choices being made by grown ass people who have nothing better to do in their own personal lives. Y'all are wasting your lives away. I'm telling you, there's other shit you could be doing. Peaceful shit. Peace is priceless. Speaking of that, let's talk about Kanye real quick. I know everybody's like, oh, he lost this deal. He lost that deal. He lost this deal. Your freedom is priceless. I would not, I listen, as hard as I work and bust my ass every day, I wouldn't trade places with Kanye West. Absolutely not. He got a lot of shit going on. And I'm going to tell you, look at him. His whole vibe screams depression. That ain't what you want. He's not a happy person. He's not in a happy place. And he hasn't been. I mean, look what he's wearing. I was so offended when I saw him. I'm like, oh my God. But he's a hot ass mess. But it's a reflection of how he feels on the inside. He needs to go and do whatever it is he wants to fucking do. Y'all worried about money. Remember, Dave Chappelle walked away from $400 million, okay? And nobody understood that then until he came back around and he explained it was some bullshit going on. Do y'all think Kanye flipped on these people for no reason? Some shit went on. He got triggered and he went the fuck in. They're getting rid of him over his anti-Jewish uh, comments, but they didn't give a fuck about his anti-black comments. But yet y'all are upset. And like, oh, they, they, he's a, he's anti-black. How is he anti-black when he's been fucking offended? He, we, he ain't lose no money by us. We ain't take shit out of his pocket. They did. So how is he anti-black? Seem to me he anti, anti-whatever. Maybe he's anti-Kanye, depending on how you're looking at it. But he's fine. He's never going to work at Wendy's. He's okay. If he never does another deal again, he's okay. He's never, ever, ever going to be broke, broke. Like motherfuckers was saying MC Hammer was broke. MC Hammer wasn't that broke. Like he said, I ain't y'all kind of broke. Hello. What it meant was I had $200 million. Now I only got eight. Okay. Same with Kwame Brown. All right. I had that many million dollars, but now I got eight. It don't matter. You still got motherfucking millions. More than the average, Bob. All right. So yes he lost his deals hopefully he will find his peace of mind because that's what he needs none of this shit matters if you're miserable you're supposed to be happy in life your goal is to seek happiness every day that's your job 
Not to get up and argue with motherfuckers every day. Not to waste your time on people who don't matter to you. Mean nothing to you. When you drop dead, these people don't matter. It's your friends and family who count. Don't waste all your time online fucking with people. Okay? Happiness is priceless. But yeah, back to Ye. I, I just feel like he made some choices and it is what it is. Everybody's like, oh, he lost. Now he has some, like, in every arena that he has investments, people are pulling away from him. But that's what he was saying on Drink Champs. See, y'all didn't listen to the whole interview. They, they made the interview about that and about George Floyd. It wasn't. It was about a whole lot of stuff. He was also talking about how we don't prepare for the future, how we're building things as if we're not going to get old. Right. He's like, all oh, we have to, we should be building all one level houses and shit like that. All that kind of shit makes sense that he was talking about. Nobody heard any of that. We need to think we need to do better. Our children are fucked up because of us. Make no mistake. We all got to own that shit. Our generation fucked these kids up. And if you didn't specifically fuck them up hands on, it's like we dropped the ball and we didn't give a fuck what happened to them. So now society is paying the price. And that's kind of a lot of what Kanye was saying too. Society is responsible. We're responsible for people. We're responsible for others. When you're in a position to do better, you should you should do better. You should help others. You should look out. I was watching some, um, I, I posted it on my community board, this two girls, one was 16, one was 17, separate incidents in Philly, but one is word, wanted for a double murder. One was robbing a guy for a gun, shot the boy in the hand and the bullet went through his hand and hit a 55 year old man and killed him. These are our children. These are our children. Don't be like, oh, no, those are... No, 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 no. Those are our children. They carry and they walk with that black skin. Those are our children. And we failed them. They've been failed. These kids are unloved. They don't give a fuck about life or death. Pay attention. They don't care because they haven't been loved. They haven't been fed. They haven't been nurtured. Right. Because you know, it was the club scene and then it was Instagram. You got 40-year-olds on here with 19-year-old children who want to be 17. The mamas and daddies want to be 17. We talk about self-hate and hating each other. Why black women are no good. Why black men are no good. What are we really doing? What are we really contributing to society? Like I said, as black people, we get our asses on here. And the thing about it, it doesn't matter what sector of YouTube you go to. Like, 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 and it's just hate amongst us. We hate each other. Hate. And then we don't know why the kids don't love each other. Like, if you see a 17 to 18 year old, your ass better be afraid. I'm telling you right now, you best be scared. Don't sleep. They're dangerous because of us. Like I said, look at our own fucking behavior. I'm appalled. Like I said, I was looking at this shit today. I was like, are these Negroes serious? Are you serious? The flip-flopping, the way it went down, that's why I don't claim friends with near bitch. Okay? You can't. Especially on YouTube. Are there friends on YouTube? No. They're not. So you can't... If you had a friendship and a motherfucker start getting numbers on YouTube, y'all ain't gonna be friends no more. Because some bitches ain't used to shit and don't know how to act. So, no, you're not. There are no friends on YouTube. Forget that shit. Because what I saw today was crazy. It seemed like I, like you just let people say whatever, and then all of a sudden you change your mind. But when you come to my house, my house, and that's physically, metaphorically, whatever, my house, everybody get respected here. Everybody, because this is my house. So, I run this motherfucker and what I say goes. So I don't care if you don't like a bitch. You're not going to come over here with that shit. Okay? That's what you're not going to do. It doesn't matter whether I love you or not. That's what you're not going to do. I'm going to tell y'all that I'm not going to protect you. Then if you ain't going to protect me, then I'm not going to come to your house. The same way I don't go to clubs that don't have security. Hello? Right? 
Are y'all going to venues and motherfuckers ain't getting frisked at the door? I believe y'all are. <laughs> I believe y'all are. But I don't do shit like that. No, no. I require protection all the motherfucking time. Absolutely. Fuck you mean I'm coming to your crib and I'm in your house and I can get the shit beat out of me. I could get raped. I could get stabbed. I can get killed. And I can't get mad because you already told me off the gate. You ain't offering me no protection. Fuck you. You at my house, but fuck you. Uh-uh. Then I don't go to your house. Be careful what you say, motherfuckers. Y'all need to start listening to what y'all really saying. Y'all be on bullshit. Y'all surround yourself with niggas that don't got no goddamn sense. And then in the process, you lose your sense too. You 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 veer away from who you were to be to fit in. Some of y'all need to go back to rolling solo like you used to do. You can be friends from a motherfucking distance. If people love you, they love you. But y'all are following the goddamn leader. Y'all are rolling around in packs of ignorant motherfuckers. Y'all act like gangs on streets. You know what I'm saying? When you're being led by the misled. Because ain't no way in motherfucking hell you gonna tell me you can come over here, but I ain't protecting you. You can come in my house, but somebody can fuck you up and I ain't got nothing to do or say about it. I'm not coming to your house. I'm not coming to your house. That's how you treat your people. That's how you treat your loved ones. Your loved ones can't come to your house. Your house is supposed to be a safe haven. When motherfuckers come to my house, they know what it gives, okay? You're going to always feel love. You're going to always feel like you at grandma's house. Always. You're going to feel protected over here. Because we lock shit down. We don't let any and everybody in, right? We have moral standards and values. Uh-huh. Ain't no disrespect to nobody. I'm just keeping a gangster. So... If anything I said offends you, then I'm talking to you. And you should probably think about what the fuck I'm saying. Because this grown woman, grown woman to grown man. You know, like I said, some of y'all is like, well, this is just who I am. No, that doesn't make it okay. That don't make it okay. Oh, I'm just nasty. Uh, no. Uh, no, no, no. Because see, what y'all don't realize is that you got a lot of people watching you. And a lot of people who don't know you and a lot of people who see you and they like, oh my, ooh, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Very fucked up, very rude, very nasty. Like, is that really what y'all want to put out there? I felt like, I felt like, I, I, I feel like um, home. one of my homegirls on here who I watch occasionally was having a bad goddamn day today. It was funny because I saw her go from one channel cussing motherfuckers out to the next channel, but it was a different vibe. It wasn't the same kind of happy, like sometimes she'd be doing it and it's funny, like she just being funny, but I felt anger today. I felt hurt today. Not like my feelings was hurt, but I felt hurt from that person. I felt like you very angry today. What's the matter? What's the matter? Something is the matter. It was, it was so obvious. I was like, damn, didn't I just see you somewhere else cussing bitches out from the bottom of your heart? And here you are again. Nah. Again. See, when you protect the people in your home, you protect everybody. See, because, see, see, when I don't provide you protection, somebody else could do some fucked up shit to you that they're going to regret. You see? So when I'm protecting you, I'm protecting everybody. I'm going to protect you from catching this murder charge. I'm going to protect you from getting murdered. Okay. Because you at my house. We're not going to do that. Because there are consequences with every motherfucking action. Period. And at a certain age, we should know this. But to say out loud, I'm not offering nobody no protection at my house, then you shouldn't have company. I don't. Right. I don't allow people at my shit. I'm very selective about who come around me. Because I, I ain't trying to kill nobody on the behalf of nobody else either. But if I got to offer you protection in the first place, then I need to ask, who am I allowing into my home? You see what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of questions that need to be asked here. It's some changes that need to be made as a grown-ass motherfucker playing with children. See? Because, see, we supposed to lead the children. It's like that bitch at my job, that little 30-year-old girl who thinks she's funny. Girl, you're 30. I'm a grown-ass woman. You don't know who you fucking playing with. I would provide you with guidance, but you fucking with some clowns who is allowing you to act a fool and be ignorant and you think this shit is funny, but in the long run, I already know what's going to happen to you. So I'm not worried about it because you're going nowhere fast because there's no growth in that process. When people, when your elders don't guide you and lead you and correct you, there's no growth in that process. That's why our society and our children are fucked up. That's why these people here, so a lot of people here on the YouTube are grown ass children. They old ass first graders. 
because there's been no guidance. There's been no direction. There's been no correction. Deuces.